So this is an area that um, is supposed to be a bunk, obviously. And under here is a fridge, the old fridge that was run with a compressor. So it's like a fridge compartment. And I already built that little shelf up there because I'm never using that bunk. But I kind of like kept the bunk free in case somebody does come and join. But I think the chances are pretty small that I'm ever going to have really four people on the boat. And this is always such a waste of space. I put things there and it's like storage, but there's no reason why there need to be cushions and um, there could be like a little shelf maybe in the back. So that's going to be one of the projects that I'm going to do when I'm underway and I got a um, 8 foot times 4 foot uh, plywood sheet and um, because I can't really put it on the boat the way it is I'm just gonna cut at least the base here because what's underneath here it has like a hole so it's not really good for storage. an electrical saw from Patrick who's a friend from one of the other boats in the marina. Unfortunately it did not work so I had to get my good old Japanese hand saws out and work away with those. It took quite a long time so I was <laughs> still working away when it was already dark and one of the yard workers came by when he finished his day. I offered him some whiskey and as Panamanians usually do, he first watched me work away politely but then after some time insisted to give me a hand and finish off the cutting job. Thanks so much. There's one more thing I really wanted to do here in um, Carlos Marina is that I had to or have to restitch the UV projection on my on my Genoa because it's kind of coming off and that's really something that's hard to do like on the boat plus I don't have a sewing machine so I could borrow Patrick's sewing machine which is really great but he didn't have any thread so this morning I had to go into town which means going into town it takes like five hours but, you know, it's a beautiful day. I'm not complaining. Um, but I hope that now everything is uh, going to be fine with the sewing project. And I've got the sail down and already over at the little working area. And now I'm going to see... The machine can't do the zigzag. I can only do straight stitching. So I gotta, I'm thinking if I'm maybe going to do like a massive big zigzag along the thing and then just one on the side. I haven't really thought about it yet. I'm going to take a look at it and then see how it goes. And then it's time to get out of here. I put up this little 
tent just to see how this the you know how it would sit and to have an idea of how I could possibly cut the rain cover so you know you see that here on these edges obviously it's kind of luffing so I was thinking about doing one middle part that goes from the top to the back from front to aft and then two side parts as in triangulars and I just put this here because it's easier like it folds nicer and I just roughly put down some measurements um, how I think it could be so I'm gonna cut this in one piece and then two pieces for the sides if I actually have enough material I have to check <laughs> It's a bit ironic that I have spent so many rainy seasons down here and never have built myself a proper rain cover for my hatch. And I was actually supposed to have this one ready for when my folks arrived, but due to the diesel disaster, was not able to get it ready on time. Well, better late than never, I guess. I still need to put in some grommets into the cover, but I can totally do that at anchor. So I think now it's time to cut the mooring line and head out of here. But more about that next week. <laughs>